Adobe Illustrator. Make sure the size is set to letter, the width is 8.5 inches, and the length is 11 inches. Select Window at the top of the screen and make sure that Tools is selected. Select the Rectangular tool in the toolbar to the left, click and drag to create a rectangle. At the top of the screen, select the View tab, then choose Show Rulers. Along the top of the screen and on the left side, a ruler will appear. Right click on this bar and select Millimeters if your plate size is in millimeters. If the size of your plate is in inches, select Inches. Toolbar on the left, select the Selection tool. On the right side of the screen, find the tab that says Transform. Because the size of the plate we are going to make is 100 millimeters by 200 millimeters, we set the width to 100 and the length to 200. There is no need to set the X and Y. Click on the rectangle to select it. At the top of the screen, select the Object tab and go to Lock, then Selection. Open the image that you want to etch. Copy and paste it inside of the rectangle. Click on the image to select it. At the top of the screen, select Object, Transform, and Reflect. This will reverse the image, making it ready to be etched. Zoom into the bottom left-hand corner of the rectangle you created within the page. At the top left-hand side of the page, where the two rulers meet, there will be a little white box. Grab the box and drag it to the corner of the rectangle you zoomed in on. This is zeroing out the image so the program believes that the corner is now at the rectangle and not at the edge of the screen. You need to position the image at a certain distance from the edge of the plate. The distance depends on your pad printer configuration and ink cup size. In our case, it is 50 millimeters. To set this distance, on the right side of the screen, select the Transform tab again and set the X to 50 and the Y to 50. Always make sure the color of the image is set to 100% black. This will ensure that as much light as possible will be blocked from this print. Load the paper tray with the film positive sheet and click print. Your film positive is now complete.